and you can hear the cicadas in the background. Well, here's my setup. This has got a white facing on it, which I'm going to put out. And silver on the other side. Got the four rolls, which is 400 square feet. And the bottom part you see here, I had a little bit left over. So that's there. So I'm getting this in, slowly but surely. And I'll keep bringing you back as I go. Get this in, then the foam. I'm not sure if I'm going to use three quarter or one inch yet. I'm not going to be going into minus 20 degree areas or 110 degree areas. I'm going to follow the weather. So I don't need super insulation. It will have a uh, diesel heater. So that'll take care of any cool nights. All right, I'll bring you back when I get more done. Well, more progress. Sometimes you gotta cut around little things like that. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these wires after that. I may have to come in, I may have to cut them and uh, rework them. I don't know just yet. I'm gonna have to wait and see. All right, I gotta get back to work. making some progress and it's getting lighter in here as you can see i've got more over there to do we got a car coming as usual so i've got this wall down here i've used two rolls so far which isn't too bad and then up and around the window and I get to do it all again um, when I put the foam in. I'm going to be using three quarter inch foam. Again, I'm not going to be going to any place that's minus 32 degrees or 114 degrees. So, <clears throat> with a diesel heater, it'll stay nice and warm in here. My biggest problem right now is move this over there, move this over here so I can work. Oh well. Once I get organized, it'll be better. So I got a piece to put up there. Then I do the ceiling. Once I get the foam in, then I start doing my electrical. The electrical is going to follow down there. I'll have a little uh, electric trace box up there. It'll be behind the cabinets, in the cabinets. So I'm not worried about it. Um, right here where the bed is, I'll um, probably have a little just boxed in. Just a little bit. All right. I want to finish this second can of uh, adhesive and uh, then I'm going to call it a night. I'm beat. It's been a nice cool day though. That's, that's been a plus. All right, keep checking back. Oh, I made up a, a little tool. This is where the screws come in from the other side. You can see them right here. And so. That would, that would be raised up quite a bit. So I just hodgepodge together something that pushes them down. See how it pushes it down and exposes it. So now the foam can stick right to that. And it will be the right distance. Quick. And easy. All it is is a little socket taped on to extension. And it works great. Push it and you can see it's it's down there ready to go. I was doing it by hand for a while and then I said I gotta start working smarter not harder. See there's a screw right there once I put this next piece on. I'll just come back in and do it to it. The uh, backyard builder's tip of the day. Well, as you can see, the trailer is getting whiter. All that's pretty much in. Of course, the other side is done. Now I'm starting to work on the ceiling. 
getting that up into there. Good thing about this, I'll be able to put one inch here and three quarter inches on the side of the foam. So that'll help the roof a lot. It's gonna take me probably three or four more cans of adhesive to get this up there. Then I'm gonna put a aluminum inch and a half by eighth inch flat bar down through the center. And on one side I'll have a bead board going this way and I'll need something in the center to screw it to. So, little by little, hopefully by this weekend I'll start putting up the, uh, the foam. That's gonna be fun. All right, hang with me. Well, the walls and ceiling have got the reflectix on it and I get to do it all again with the foam. I'm getting ready to uh, cover my wheel wells here with reflectix. Then I'll put foam on top of them. You know, that helps a little bit. I got uh, not a whole lot of reflectix. I think this is 387 square feet, I figured, but you had to buy 400, so I can still take reflectix and put in that window and in my truck window when I get it. Got some foam up into there. Got some foam up and down here. In that crack, which is really tiny. I think I'm going to put some uh, fiberglass insulation here, soft, in case I have to get into there for all this wiring. That might be nice. But it's coming along. It's getting white in here. It's bright. All right, stick with me. Well, time for a little insulation work. Getting ready to go up front here first. Then I can get the plywood on these panels and get my panel for the electrical and then get the insulation to seal them and start running some electrical. Made some progress today. All the white is turning green. Got some insulation in there, which is going to be nice. Not that I need it today. It's hot and humid. So I got the nose done. This takes quite a while because no two widths are the same. Sometimes they're not even plumb. So each one has to be cut individually. So I just got three, three sheets of this three quarter inch and it works perfect. The right thickness and everything else. And then over here, I've got some uh, poly pro to go on the ceiling. That's one inch. And I decided to go ahead and get uh, the aluminum, which will reflect heat or cool back in here. So that's five sheets. So that should be enough to do the ceiling. I'll need uh, six more sheets of this to finish up the sidewalls. Once I get this done, then I can add my plywood up here on the nose, my vertical electrical background, and then start running uh, marking. I gotta mark everything and then run electrical wires throughout then put the rest of the plywood in, cut my box holes in that plywood. The only part of the plywood that's going to be showing is in this nose section right here, on those two walls, and where the bed is back here. That's the only two places the walls will show. Everything else is covered by cabinets and the backsplash. We'll I'll have a backsplash here on where the kitchen is. But no other walls will show except right there by the, the bed. So I'll probably put some beadboard there too. I've got a piece of aluminum that I'm gonna run across here, eighth inch, inch and a half wide, run down the center. So my beadboard will be about four inches, uh, four feet that way and four feet that way. So this will be the center line. So I'll have something to screw to. Instead of just from here to here, I'll be able to put a screw in the middle here to keep it from waving 
All right. Well, tomorrow's another day. Stick with me. It's coming together slowly but surely. We'll catch you next time.